structure works and um, what are the, the problems uh, with, with growing fruits and vegetables and other yeah. stuff. Well, growing populations need intensive food production and along with the corruption that we've seen in the banks and in political circles, much the same sort of thing has happened in agriculture because it is a nexus point uh, for profit generation. And there has been an, an accumulation, it's rather like playing Monopoly. As the game progresses, the wealth ends up in the hands of fewer and fewer and generally more unscrupulous players. Um, you have, in terms of food production now, behind a very small number of multinational food producers, which is only just in double figures, behind that you've got a smaller number of really key agricultural players who between them, there's a handful of five, you know, five or six who dominate you know, the Western uh, agricultural food production. And they're making so much money that they can buy as many politicians, as many congressmen, senators as they need, and certainly as many regulators as they need. What has happened is regulatory capture. The regulatory systems which were initially set up to protect the consumer are basically owned by the industry now. And uh, it's difficult to see how we can get out of this um, without some sort of political, economic and social revolution. You have a food chain that is from the beginning to end. It is focused on cheap calories. And that is at the expense of many of the micro and phytonutrients that we desperately need to stay healthy. The interesting thing is that many of the higher ups in these big food multinationals and certainly in the agri companies, uh, I've met a few of them over the years, and they enjoy good food and they don't eat the produce that they're happy to sell into the masses. They wouldn't to eat that themselves or give it to their children, but they're happy to sell it to us and they're not really concerned about the suffering that they cause. People talk about the dangers of the narco dollar and they say that that leaves a trail of death and destruction. Well, it does. But the narco dollar is responsible for about two, two and a half percent of global economic production. Interestingly, the pharma dollar is about the same. The pharma dollar kills many more people than the narco dollar does. And if you were to look at the, uh, the grain buck, or, or let's say the agricultural uh, uh, sector, that's worth much more again. And that is contributing to a tidal wave that is sweeping around the globe of degenerative disease, so much unnecessary suffering and so much premature death, such a waste of human talent, such destruction. Uh, it's a problem that has become so universal that it is almost invisible. Um, and of course, many of the politicians who are um, our lords and masters uh, are either too stupid to see what's going on or some of them who do understand it are more than happy to take, take the money you know, under the table. The healthcare system is not really there to produce health. Um, government is not really there to look after you and me. They're there to look after themselves and to serve the interests of their financial masters, largely, as far as I can see.